Hello world, my name is Artemis and this is my seven day challenge. It is an intermittent fasting challenge that I, I read about, I've been studying up on it. And this is my first day. It's a pretty easy day, it's generally pretty easy for me not to eat for a whole day anyway. So I don't expect any uh, to feel anything different for at least, I don't know, another 24 to 36 hours. Why am I doing it? I haven't exactly been able to find a sweet spot as far as my healthy eating. Um, I've tried all kinds of different things, I've dieted and I've not dieted. There's a couple of things that I've found that really work for me, but I've been a, I haven't been able to keep them up. So I, uh, I quit after you know three to six months and I gradually packed the weight back on. So I need to drop a good 40 pounds, like 20, 15, 20 kilos. I think at this point in my life I need some radical new things and that's why I'm trying this. In the process of my 7 day intermittent fasting challenge, I learned a whole lot about body science and what happens when we allow our body to go hungry. Apparently going up to 5 days without food is completely normal for a healthy body. People in the old days were used to going hungry for prolonged periods of time but today we insist on feeding ourselves every 6 hours. Here's what I learned about intermittent fasting. While there are a few different scenarios within the concept of intermittent fasting, the most popular one seems to be the 16-8 eating schedule. 16 hours of fasting followed by 8 hours of eating. You're not eating the whole 8 hours, mind you, but rather this is the period when you are allowed to eat. During your eating hours, you intake the normal daily dose of calories and then you go into a fasting stage. During your fasting stage, you are allowed to drink as much water as you need, along with black coffee or tea with no sweeteners. Your body responds with a long list of beneficial reactions and the results of this type of eating regimen are good not only for aesthetic purposes but also to prevent disease, stress and premature aging. I've been looking at some transformations, I'll, I'll post some below, you can check them out. It's some pretty wild stuff uh, as far as uh, how a body can be transformed uh, within 60 to 90 days. On day two of my intermittent fasting challenge. The morning started out with a little bit of rain and some hunger pains, but nothing too severe. I think the the difficulty in this type of regimen is keeping it up and doing it every day. The benefit of yesterday, the first day of my uh, intermittent fasting challenge, was more on what I've learned. I spent some time uh, reading up and, and watching some videos on on fasting, on on body chemistry, on on what uh, what happens with, with your body when you don't eat. It's all very insightful. It's all about what we can process up here and how we can make that into a, a, a daily thing and not, not stray away from it. So we'll see how today goes. Alright, so day three started with more rain. Kind of messed up my plans. I was hoping for a, a short road trip today. Feeling good. My intermittent diet challenge is going pretty good. Yesterday, actually, yesterday was uh, when I broke my fast. I ended up eating too much. It wasn't like a whole lot of food. It was just, I guess, it was too much for my stomach to handle after after fasting for 17 hours or whatever it was. Yeah, so felt kind of heavy all, all evening yesterday but woke up great this morning feeling good watched the video yesterday about some some side effects negative side effects of, of intermittent fasting nothing to worry about just things that may happen like headaches and you know, things like that haven't had any side effects feeling really good let's go on with day three and see how this goes Alright, so day four of my intermittent fasting challenge. It is a little bit of a challenge trying to watch the time and, and figure out when to eat and when not to eat. I'm really not watching out for what I shouldn't be eating. I mean, I try to eat healthy anyway. 
Right now it's just trying to get into the groove of, uh, of the timing and the regimen. I did have to say no to some, some Hanukkah donuts right now. <laughs> just because I thought it was... I didn't, I didn't realize that it was, uh, it was time for me to break fast. I don't know if my body's adjusting to the eating schedule or it's just... I, I was kind of feverish all evening yesterday. It might have been because I was shooting out in the rain. Dog. Day five, waiting for the sun to rise. Beautiful misty morning here in the Galilee. Feeling great. Feeling completely normal. Sure, I would like to have some breakfast, but it's not a it's not a big hunger that can mess up my day or anything. Got myself a nice cup of tea this morning. Came out here on the roof to try to catch the sunrise. Pretty cloudy out. Don't don't know if it's gonna be any good. It's a good day today. I think the rain is gone. Uh, but we might catch some rain later on today because I'm driving down south to see some of my relatives. Hopefully the rain won't get in the way of shooting some really nice footage for the vlog. So I'll see you on the way down. Six, I hit the middle fasting challenge. Everything's good, feeling great. Had a nice road trip yesterday, came down to the south of the country to see some relatives. Stayed up really late, uh, talking and everything, but did not let that mess up my, my fast. Ended at about 7 p.m. Road fast today at around 12.30. Everything good is on schedule. I think I'm gonna keep this one. So intermittent fasting challenge day seven. Final day, I don't know if I can say much about it. Uh, feel good, I, like, I, like I've been saying, I've, I felt fine the whole way through it. I don't think it was much of a challenge, frankly, at least not for my body. Mentally, I think it was. Having to deal with watching the times and having to stop my hand from putting something in my mouth and right at the moment, like, oh wait, I. It's not time yet. It does take some getting used to. I don't know, I think, uh, I think this needs more time, really. I haven't seen much of a change in my weight or anything. I do wanna keep going with this and see how far I can take it. <laughs> 